My name is Vaughn Veit. I'm the president of the Veit Automotive Foundation. I'm a collector, I guess, and I started collecting stuff, and then I realized that these older guys, uh, they were dying off and it's, or retiring, and their collections were sold. So I just decided to start a foundation so mine could stay here permanently for years after I'm gone. Because it's uh, just a part of history, you know, it's evolved so much the cars and stuff, I just wanted to save it. I built a round barn for a showroom. And this building here is a Gothic style. And I just, just wanted to kind of keep things because the old barns are disappearing. I've got the metal toys and trucks I had when I was a little kid. I've got my first bicycle. I got 1948. I got a duplicate of my second one. I've got uh, duplicates of my motor scooters that I had. I've got my first car and uh, I'm the first hot rod I built too. My name is Jared Roulette. I'm the curator here at the Vite Automotive Foundation, and that means that I do the tours, I do a lot of the history of the different cars throughout the collection, history of any of the Minnesota related objects in the collection, and when I'm doing the tours I try and involve our, our uh, guests that come out here with any of the history and teach them new things as they walk through. Here we have Tri-5 Chevys and 33 Fords. We've got a great collection of gas pumps and it's always an everyday uh, learning experience, not only for myself, but anybody that's, that's part of our crew here at the foundation. Every day there's, there's something new and it just keeps it fresh for all of us. Documenting the history of the cars and the pumps and those types of things, whatever, for future generations is super important to what we do. I like 33 Fords. They were a one off uh, car. The front ends are delicate and feminine looking, and that's the only way I could describe them. I, First time I saw them, I fell in love with them. So I, I think I own 20 of them. I have every body style in 33 Ford. In fact, I have the first 33 Ford ever built, serial number 001, and it's a prototype. And uh, we located and we're restoring that now. Almost all of them have stories. Some of these got a lot of history to them. It's just part of the hobby, you know. And, uh, but I, I like the historicals part of it too. Grandfather's windmill off his home farm in, in Rockford, Greenfield Township. That was the only thing left on the 80 acres, and I tried to buy it from the guy for 20 years. Finally, I took my 80-year-old aunt out there, and she used to date this farmer, and she talked him into selling to me. <laughs> and I moved it out here, restored it, moved it, put it here. And different things, I've got a lot of old stuff from families, from their farms and stuff like that, tools, different things. Just hanging on to history. Every day, it's something fresh, and if you're not learning something or whatever, it's, not, it's because you're not paying enough attention. It, it's a pretty fun place to be, and so, like I say, every day is a new adventure. Mm -hmm.